being able to move around in the world truly in 3D, that's, that's big breakthrough stuff. It's both a viewing device and an input device with the uh, direct interaction with the, the stylus. You can actually reach into the screen, pull something out and sit it hovering above the screen and then, you know, then view it. Uh, the Six Degree of Freedom stylus, which uh, much like multi-touch displays, allows you to simultaneously do multiple tasks, for instance, a pan, zoom, orbit simultaneously. I've been in, in 3D and tech for years, and I was amazed. It was definitely one of those kind of aha moments, like, wow, we're actually really doing this now. This is, you know, technology is, is there. I've seen a lot of 3D stereo, seen a lot of different, uh, you know, immersive types of uh, displays and, and interactive uh, 3D environments, and was very impressed with uh, the quality of the 3D uh, stereo and some of the utility of what uh, this uh, system provides. What's kind of cool about it is, it is, the, is the overall simplicity of it as well. It's, it's a very complex system, but the interface and the experience is very simple. The more you think about opening possibility space for your best creative people, the better work they're going to do. The notion is our artists and designers are going to be that much more productive, meaning they're going to create higher quality stuff a lot faster than they do today. The connection to the object is really visceral. You can communicate 3D volumetric information very, very easily with ZSpace. We're interested in this because we have predominantly a lot of 3D content. We have a lot of 3D design applications. So how can we make 3D really more seamless with the real world? It really feels real. The notion that artists can create better 3D art faster and create art that maybe they wouldn't have imagined they could create it beforehand, that's a big win.